Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple movie using the iMovie app. To begin with, you will open your iMovie program. Then right here, you will click on the plus sign for create new. Then you will select movie, which is the first option. Then you will see this page that will lead you to immediately import your media. You click on the arrow and then you will see a file that shows you all of the pictures you have. In this case I have my pictures on the desktop. So I will choose the desktop and let's say I'm going to make a movie about my vacation. So all of my vacation pictures are right here. So I will click all of my vacation pictures. You can click them individually if you don't have them in order. Then click import selected. Then I have all my pictures there. They are on this side of the window because it's giving me a view of how do I want these pictures organized. Let's say this is the first picture I took during my trip. So I will click and drag it to the bottom. Or I can just simply click at the picture and click on the plus sign. Then it will automatically drag itself to the bottom. Then this is my third picture, my fourth, and my fifth picture. Okay, now all of my pictures are here. Now I, now I want something that helps me with looking better into a movie. That's why we have titles, backgrounds, and transitions. Let's go ahead and click on backgrounds. Let me pick something that it's a little bit more to the theme of my vacation. What could that be? We can select curtain, organic, blobs, underwater, gradient, or industrial. Right away when you place your cursor on top of these pictures, you will see how they interact. So you can have an idea of how it will look like once you put it in your picture. So for this case, I'm going to pick underwater and I would like to drag this one to the beginning of my picture. So it's right here. I moved it right here before the first picture I dragged. So let's see. Let me go ahead and add a title to it also. I will like just a simple title. Once you place your cursor on the pictures, it would also show you how they look like. Let's see, I think I like this one. This one looks fun. So I will click and place it over here. It'll place itself on the top. Then right here, it's going to highlight the text. So I can start typing my text. Let me type something, my vacation in Mexico. Click outside of the window and it'll be ready. Now at the end of my pictures, I can also click another title just so whenever your movie finishes, it will be a drastic change. And it'll be a smoother transition to another picture. Let's say I want to pick something that looks different. Let's go ahead and drag this one. And it'll prompt me to change the text. vacation or the end of vacation. 
click outside of the text and it'll be ready. Last, I would like to add something else into my movie. Let's see, audio. Click on audio. And I had already take a quick look of all of this list of sounds that we can add to it. The very beginning, there you can click right here on this circle and play button to listen to the sound. And think, is this what you want to hear when your movie starts? Or, something more like this maybe. Let's go ahead and pick one. So I can click and drag it to the bottom. Then I will come all the way over here and see that it's really long. It lasts 10 seconds and it'll play all the way to this picture. So if I only want it to play for my beginning, I'm going to make sure I click on it. And it has to be the outside line has to turn yellow. It means that it's selected. You wait for this line also to turn yellow, and then the arrows, you click, and then shorten it to the position you like. And this is the position, more or less, that I want it to be. Right here where it turns yellow, it says that it's aligned with the initial slide and the title. And I let go. Now it's really important that when you show all of these pictures, there's a smooth transition to it. So you will click on transitions and you will see all these different transitions that also if you place a cursor on top of the pictures, you will see how they interact. How will they look like when you place them on your movie? So I will, I will click on it in here. Just take one click right here in the middle. And let me pick cube. So I'm going to double click cube. Then this, this little square with uh, two inverted arrows will show me that the transition is already in place. Then I need to add another one here. One click. Then let me try swapped transition. Double click. This will show me that it's already placed. Then I will move all the way down over here. One click. Let me try spin out. Double click. And it's already there. And we'll do the same here, one click. Uh, let's pick doorway, double click, and it's there. Go to the next, one click. Let's pick fade to black, double click, and it's there. Then all the way to the end, for the last slide, I want to add another one. One click. Let's see, circle or fade to white. Double click and it's there. If you like to add sound to the rest of the movie, you can just by clicking on audio. And then just like I did at the beginning, Click and drag it to the rest of the movie. You can add your music from the iTunes or your music from the library. Now, to see how my movie is coming along, or how does it look like, 
I'm going to click right here at the beginning, one click, and the light turns yellow. Then I'm going to maximize this screen so I can see how it looks. Like I said, you can add sound to the rest of the movie. And this is it. If you need to make adjustments, you will just go back and you just move the cursor all along and then see where you need to make changes. Let's say you want to make this bigger to last longer because you need a little bit of white space. Let's see how it looks. And maybe a little bit more. Drag it. Let's see how it looks. One last. And it's ready. If you want to make all three the same size, you will just click on it. Make sure it looks yellow around. Drag it, then the sound, drag it, and there they are, same size. Okay, so now your movie is ready. Now when you click finally on projects, you will select a name, location in Mexico, click OK, and your movie is ready to go.